hospitals the world over, the CMC's emergency department stands as the doorway for patients in their time of greatest need. Emotions are stretched to breaking point, and it is important that the staff acts with compassion in the face of practical constraints. This is a patient who's possibly had some kind of injury to the head, uh, so they're just bringing in the patient now. Okay. He fell from a tractor. Four days ago, this patient fell down and uh, they've been referred here with a history of a head injury. Come. This is the emergency team that we have in the resuscitation room, it comprises of at least one or two. Uh, medical officers who are the people responsible for the patient. As soon as the patient comes in, they look at the patient and they do a primary and a secondary survey. Uh, we have a set of nurses and uh, they're the people who assist the doctor. This is a high pressure area as you can see and uh, a little earlier on this place was quite calm but as the day picks up this place is going to be full. These five beds will not be enough. We have had situations sadly where we have had to close the casualty down because we are totally full and uh, it's hard. We can't turn them away because that's a very cruel thing to do, but, but that's the reality. With over 7,000 outpatients every day and the hospital's 2,600 ward beds seemingly always occupied, as well as the numerous urban and rural clinics that stretch out from the centre, it's easy to appreciate the impact that CMC has on so many lives. Perhaps what's less clear is why so many people turn to CMC in their time of need. My name is Paul Ravi Kumar and I'm a chaplain here and I purely strongly believe that I was called for this ministry. I'm an orphan boy, I was fallen from the terrace. In this hospital I was admitted and the doctors when they treat me they said I won't walk and a day come where I came to this the place where I'm sitting right now, this is the place I came, I say, if it's a Jesus, it's a real God, can this Jesus can make me to walk again? But miraculously, uh, I was healed and I could walk and even now I'm walking. So I made it a commitment that the place where I was healed, where I was miraculously healed, I thought I'll work here in this place as a chaplain. And now I'm doing my ministry here. It was the challenges of childbirth that inspired CMC's founder, Dr. Ida Scudder. Today, those challenges continue, with CMC's maternity department providing support for mothers and the children born every day. Mohana is full term and has arrived at CMC with her husband. Mohana is carrying twins and one child is awkwardly placed for a natural birth. Their obstetrician has recommended a caesarean. They're saying they have, they have no fear, they're not worried about the, the treatment that we've chosen for them because they trust that that's the best for the baby and the mother at this point of time. I'm very happy, sir. Happy. Happy. Two child is. First time in my family, two child so will see. Every day, patients travel to CMC from all over India as well as neighboring countries. All are aware of CMC's reputation for compassionate quality care. And every single patient comes trusting that the hospital is a special place of healing. It's not the buildings, it's more on the people who take care of the patient. I think that's one aspect where it pulls people. When we come here, it doesn't seem like a hospital. For them, it seems like a pilgrimage place. Where they come here, they found out there's a God who's there to take care of them. And they feel that there are a lot of miracles are happening, there are a lot of healings are happening. They feel that there's a spirituality which also plays a vital role in the patient's life. Mr. Alauddin and his wife have traveled by train for three days from Bengal to bring their son to CMC for reconstructive surgery. Uh, Mr. Alauddin says that he's getting, uh, he has seen several people from West Bengal coming here for treatment and many of them get, got very good treatment and they got cured. This particular child who is undergoing angiogram right now has come from far off place. Uh, he basically presented with the swelling in the right cheek area and on imaging we found that it is due to a uh, mass lesion which is expanding and that is causing his symptoms. So ENT surgeon has planned to surgically remove this 
Often different departments in CMC work together to ensure that the patients receive the best possible care. Today, Mr. Alawadin's son will first undergo a procedure in radiology to prevent excessive blood loss during the major surgery performed by the ENT department. As with every patient that comes to CMC, the focus is on excellence in care, ethical service and clear communication. The result for Mr. Alawadin's son was a success. In a matter of weeks, the family will be returning to West Bengal. It's just over an hour since Mohana went into surgery and her caesarean is over. First girl, second to buy. Total three. Three. She loved me. Big, she loved me. big family. Big family, very big family. <laughs> Back in the trauma department, Dr. Thomas is checking in on a young man who came in earlier. This is Mutukuma. He's a 17-year-old boy from a village nearby. This morning he was trying to draw water from the well and he switched off the electrical lines, the main high tension wires. Unfortunately, he got a shock and he suffered, as you can see, on the front of his body. Thankfully for us, he came here early. So he's going to be looked after by the burns department and the plastic department of our hospital. So the good news is that he's going to be fine. He wants to know whether he'll be able to walk and run again. And he wants to join the army. Military go to when he was a little child, about six months old, he was very sick and he was treated here and he got better and she come, went on to say that he received free treatment in this hospital for that time. Because she feels that CMC is the best place to come because she feels we here, we work as a team and we see, see the patient as a whole and we give a good treatment. Christians in the hospital. Okay. She, she comes back to the history of Ida Skada and says it was it's because of her that this hospital is what it is. She says, when I come to CMC, it's like I'm coming to a friend. And when I come to this hospital, all my fears are gone. That's what she said. Whether it's the wonder of a new life or the tragedy of the sick or damaged, CMC stands at its heart as a place of compassionate care. It's made up of healers that serve with trust and the love of God. Every patient who comes to CMC is not only suffering from his physical ailment, but is also deprived socially, emotionally, financially, maybe even spiritually. And therefore CMC's approach is that we must send back a patient from this institution as a wholesome individual.